Hey, what's good, everybody? So that car going is um, is is the engineer. His name is uh, Matthew. No, 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 my car can't go in. Echo, echo, echo city. My car not to go. I'm telling him my car cannot go there, and this is not even my car. I told you that my car is broken, and I sold it. So I need extra money to buy a new car. And yesterday, today is 15th of uh, January 2023. Oh, yesterday I was here for a program, uh, a couple from the Caribbean, Jamaica to be specific, uh, had the uh, wedding anniversary at Moy's house. So I'll bring you that video pretty soon. So one of the brothers said, hey Echo, um, phase two is also developing. A lot of people are building in phase two, phase two. I was like, okay, let me, go there and then check whatever is happening so i've called the land engineer so he's the one that i work with so anytime you ask me to get you a plot or a land in a sable after i get the land i have to talk to him then he will come and show me the plot okay this this because he knows everything and i have to pay him for doing that uh today is sunday i decided to come and check what is happening in phase two so follow me and let's see what exactly is happening in phase two i've been bringing you a lot more from phase one but this time, let's go to face. Show them what is happening. So I don't think we can go further because the road network is it's not bad. But this guy is, it has a... You can This guy is really low. So it's been... Very, very low. Yeah. <laughs> it's very low. So this is Matthew. Hello. Greetings to Pan-Africa Village. Okay. And happy, happy, happy new year. Now I'm dressing up to take a consumption to the site yeah. and we are going to the second phase yeah so i'm dressing up and give him direction all right okay yes, before we get onto the land we have to pray to the almighty ancestors <laughs> and there's this <laughs> local gin it's called apeteshi this is apeteshi it's really it's like water so we're going to have a taste or uh, a sip before we get onto the evil forest. This is just a joke, but we're gonna take this just to ginger us to go and find a plot. Um, when you <laughs> when you get a land or when you pay for your land, after the allocation is given you, I have to contact my brother here who is the land surveyor of the place. So he will take us to the plot and say, Okay, this is the plot, that is the plot. And like I said, this work that he does, I have to pay him for doing this. <coughs> This is strong. This is very strong. I'm just teaching you some of the things that we do here. You know, it's, it's normal. It's normal. Ah, fuck. Ah. Let's go. <laughs> like I told you we're going to check whatever is happening in phase two. But this building right here, I don't know who it belongs to, but this ends phase one. All right, so we've met the first um, fence or wall that is being built on the second phase. Um, uh, Matthew is telling me there are a lot of uh, construction going on down there, so we're going to go there and check it out. So one of the advice that... Uh, Matthew, please come. Like, I've been telling people that when they get the land, I think the first thing that they have to, to do to secure the land is to build a perimeter or a, a wall around it. What do you think? Yeah, it's the best thing for you to do. When you get a land, the first thing you have to do is just to build a fence wall around it. Then you have secured it. Yeah. If you secure the land, you can wait or you can just do whatever you want to do. After getting your money, then you come and continue whatever you want to do. Yeah. This is the best thing for you to do. When you get a land, then you just build a fence wall at the perimeter of the land. This is a two plot of land, which is 80 by 100. Mm -hmm. it, this is 80 by 100? Yeah, 80 by 100. So it's going to be, two, which is two plots, so it's going to be 80 by 200. 200. Oh, okay. So this this we see here is 80 by, by, 100, 200. by 200. So it's it, 280 by 100 plot. Okay. So I wanted to ask him, uh, I know you've been asking me this question. How much would it cost to build a fence around one plot or two plots. Now, but since we're on a two plot land, 
let's use this as an example. Okay. How much do we need, or what are the materials and the number? Okay, first of all, if you want to build a fence at a two plot of land, mm -hmm. what you will need is you will first need a truckload of sand, okay. which is 20 cubic. Okay. You will need a one truckload of stones, which okay. is the 20 cubic. Okay. Then you will need 4,500 pieces of blocks. Okay. For the two plots. For the two plots. It's going to be 4,500 pieces of blood. Then you need iron rod, mm -hmm. you need cement, mm -hmm. uh, you need board, rubber board to do the casting. Okay. You just place it side by side okay. to do the casting. Okay. But you also have to do the excavation, okay. which is the, the main construction. Mm -hmm. So after all, when you do the estimate, it's going to cost you with, at a range of 55,000 Ghana cities. Okay. Which is for the two plots. Okay. 55. Yeah. So between then 5,000... This 55,000, it includes the material and the labor. Okay. 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 Materials... And the labor cost. So, so the materials are the iron rods, rods the wawa board, board uh, uh, the cement... The cement, the sand, and then water. You didn't mention water. And yeah, then I water. didn't mention water. And the reason I didn't mention water is, you know, some people, when they get there, the first thing they do is they do Bohole. Bohole, okay. So when the person is having his bohole, there's no need for you to buy water. But if you don't have your bohole, then it means you have to buy water, water to okay. do the construction. Mm. Wow. Okay, so thank you very much. I'm getting to know some of these things that you need water, sand, you stones. need stones, you need you iron, need iron. Rod. Let me show you iron rod. This is an iron rod. Yes. You will need this to keep the building very strong. And when you have when you have to do the cast, you say we will need wawa board. Yeah. This is wawa board. This this one. Yes, yeah, so you need to have this in order for you to put the so they put the wawa board the around this. It holds the concrete. It holds the concrete. Okay. So you they, they will put it somewhere here, right? They will do the form the work for you to hold the concrete. Mm. And then you pour the concrete, concrete inside. inside. Okay. Now, so I am assuming if 55 to 60,000 will do, will build plots. two plots, okay? And I think it also depends on the level of the, what is the, the normal, the, the, the height, what is the normal height for a Do we have a normal height or somebody can it build up? Depends, it depends on how, if you want the normal height, this one is how many plots? What cause, the cause is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight, eight courses. courses. Mm -hmm. So this is the stand, it's standard. Eight standard. courses. Stand. So if you want to do more that one, it will cost more. more. If, like you, if you want to do it less, the, the price, price will reduce. Wow. So we are on the second phase right now, and I'm learning about construction. So I, I've seen a, a Jamaican flag in my brother's car. Yes, Matthew has a Jamaican flag. Matthew, why do you have a Jamaican flag in your car? The issue is, I this thing, I truly love them. You love them? Yo, I like them, I like them. The Jamaican people? Yeah, the Jamaican people. Yeah. I will, I will one day go there and visit them. Yeah, yes sir. Yeah, the, Do you Car speak? the Caribbean. Yeah, Do you speak Patwa? Oh, I'm learning how to speak Patwa. Okay, so say something, let's see. Oh, <laughs> what, 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 I, 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 what? the only thing I know is what the one. The one. Wow, wow, wow. We call that Benji of man. Yes, sir, you don't yeah. know. <laughs> you don't know? You don't know. I, that's what it is. You like, understand. You yeah, understand. you understand. Like, so, uh, we are having a good time still trying to locate yeah. the second phase of the plot. And the road network, I told you that the, the, the road network needs to be built upon um I, I must be honest with you the road network must be built upon by the Asibu pan-african project committee uh, but it's so good okay so uh we drove a little bit from one side of phase two to another side and then we found this big huge land with the fence and I think I know who it belongs to. I don't want to guess, but uh, this is so nice. 
They've got about this. Okay, how many plots do you think this one will be? Uh, this one. This one will be like more than. It is six plots. Six plots. Yeah, it's six plots of land. Eighty by hundred. Six plots of land. Woo! <coughs> this is huge. Yeah, and it's very very big. Yeah, very 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 big. So we have an eighty. No, 80, 80 by 100, six, six times of that. Yeah. So you see, uh, those of us who are still planning or want to build here in Asebu, look at this, and construction is ongoing. Yes, I am very happy that my works are being recognized by a lot of people. To be very honest with you, 2019, we started projecting a Cebu Pan African village. Some of you don't know. So, uh, the president of Ghana invited the African diaspora to come to Ghana. And then um, the, uh, the chief of Asebu, with his eldest, decided to give 5,000 acres of free land. And this is the outcome. Yes, we have a lot of people. This place was like a virgin land, okay? There was, not, there was no water, there was no light. And then we started talking about this place. And now look, somebody has built, this is, this is big. And Matthew is saying, Lord, my Lord. brother, my sister, my father, my uh, priest, this project is very, very true. It is true. It is life and color. Yeah. When you come to Asebu, you just say you are going to Asebu. When you get a say you are going to where the, the, the diasporans mm -hmm. are. Building. They will just take you straight to the side, and when you come, look, look, it's very, very nice. <laughs> Things are going on, a lot of people, and this, this is even the phase two, not phase one, this is phase two. The phase one, people are living there, and phase two, too, they've started de doing development. And, and look, it started just last two months, and look at what he's doing. They, you know, when you pay for the land, you have to take your receipt to the office. Mm -hmm. When you go to the office, they will give you an allocation okay. paper. Yeah. When you get the allocation paper, it's three months before you get your site run and the what? Indenture. And the indenture. And you know, they said it is free land. And when they say free land, the money that you are paying, you are paying that money for them to take care of the what? The documents. And and they will use them to do the side plan and the indenture. So when they say free land, that is how they mean yeah. the, the money that... So when people are saying, I've paid for money, I have bought land and I've saved... I've, you've not bought land and I've saved you. It's a free land. The <laughs> chief is giving it to you for free. So you just come, pay that money, they will use to take care of your heart. administration papers, they will yeah. go for your documents. Yeah. Then you get your land. This is a six plot of land. Look at it, very, very big. <laughs> All right, so we are still on phase two. I've always been going to phase one because I didn't know phase two was really happening. And I'm on phase two right now, and I'm loving the thing. Look, this belongs to a family, six plots. And this side is another person's plot that he's already constructing the cement blocks. Like uh, Matthew said, a lot of people in phase two are really developing and I think it's going to be like a competition those in phase one and then those in phase two let's see who wins but phase one is already winning because we have Lane, we have Moy, we have Byron we have Tiffany, we have where we are standing mm -hmm. there's a road which is going straight mm -hmm. through this area mm -hmm. and it comes and turns to that side to this direction okay. so there is a project here there's a project, there's a project there. so there's, and then there's a, a road fence here, and there's a fence. So this place is a it's road. It's going to be a road. And, and then there's, there's another, another, road, another road over here. A anything concerning this land, Echo, can do it for you. Yeah, and I've been doing it for a lot of people. Those who, those of you who want to put up a comment and say, yeah, I've been dealing with Echo, he was good. And those of you who want to say, I've been dealing with Echo, but he was bad, just put it up as a comment. I just want to know my personality. Maybe sometimes I do certain things which I'm not supposed to do. Please let me know so I can desist from that. But aside that, this is my brother Matthew. He's the one in charge of the whole 5,000 acres of free land. If you want to locate your plot, he's the best person to look out for. 
Okay, so uh, if you buy a plot and you have uh, palm nut trees on it, come, let me show them something. Come, come. Let me. So you can you can decide to get a palm wine tapa. In Africa or in Ghana, there's a drink we call palm wine. It's a little bit uh, alcoholic. But then when you distill it, you get appetite. Appetite like 100% alcohol. So this is how they do it. They cut the palm nut tree down, and then they dig somewhere, somewhere there, and then they put camphor. And they fix this gallon. Yeah, they, they fix this gallon. Okay, so when they cut the palm nut tree, they do something. They cut some part of it, and then they put a stick in it. There's, there's some water that comes out from the, uh, the palm nut tree, and it's called palm, palm wine. wine. So this is one. It doesn't belong to us, but we are stealing it. No, we are not stealing. <laughs> but it it's belongs not for... to the chief. Okay. You see. So this is palm oil. Let's see. <clears throat> I might get drunk from taking this one. <laughs> Let me take another it's one. It's very, very nice. Yeah. And this is oh. raw. <clears throat> yeah, you have to put it back. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. After taking the stolen palm wine, which is alcoholic, you might start saying things differently or saying things differently. So I don't want to talk much. This is exactly what is going on here, which is so, so, so nice. Show them. <coughs> this phase one is just a single plot, one plot. Ah, for phase one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this phase two, phase two, it's just a single plot and it is 80 by 100. Yeah. And and I told you before, you see this guy? Okay, let me you see. Please come, please come. I told you that if you want to build your wall, you can either ask someone to be constructing the cement blocks or molding the cement blocks or you can buy them. Are you constructing them? They are okay. making the blocks right at the side. Yeah, right at the you side. See, come. This block is made right at this side. You can you will buy the sand, the cement, the water. then you will get your water. They will mix the cement and the, 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 and the water, sand at the side. Then you get your blocks at exactly at the side. There's no need for you to go and buy it at a shop mm -hmm. or uh, uh, somewhere. They, they would yeah, travel with it, then it can hurt. Some mm -hmm. can even break. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but when you make it right at the side, you will get hot. A very nice block. This so, one, they just made it today. Yeah, when it comes to our Cebu, I think apart from farming, the citrus production, they also into um, palm wine or alcohol production. So there's one production house on the phase two that I want us to check about. I go. Okay, so I think the people are not here, but this is how they make the appetition. So palm wine is the palm nut fruit. When they cut it down and then they put a stick somewhere in there, there's a liquid that comes out. That liquid was what I tasted. You remember? The one that I tasted. But there's another alcoholic drink that they can make out of the one that I tasted. And this is the production house. So I think they put the alcohol 
No one, no one, no one. So they put the alcohol or the palm wine the here. Distillation process. Distillation, yes. Is that meat? <laughs> they put the palm wine here, the one that I tasted, they put it here. And then under 100% uh, heat, the vapor that comes up goes through here. Condenses. And then it condenses, it, it cools down the alcohol. And then it comes through another chamber here, the second chamber here, and whatever comes out from this side, bring it down here. This is the proof. Yeah, whatever comes out from this side. Yes, and whatever come out from this side is the appetite, the one that we've been taking. Now, I've seen this bottle. This bottle has herbs. Yes, it has herbs. So when they have the appetite inside, and then you drink. Okay. From the second phase of a Cebu Pan-African village. We'll bring you more from that. Ciao. Bye.